All right, well, good morning. This is not really how I planned to start out my video, but I have no complaints. I don't want to be too loud because that herd of elk that we just saw just slowly walked down this way. And so it's, it's kind of a good and a bad thing depending on what the elk decide to do after this. I wanted to come set up a trail cam just right up this mountain right here because this spot right here, I feel like I personally overlook it too much. So I decided to come out today with one goal of setting up a trail cam. And sure enough, like the moment I got to the edge of this area, I looked through these little pine trees right here and I just saw like a yellow hind leg move. And at first I thought it was just a deer because the, su the sun was glaring towards this way. I didn't really care, but the more I walked over, I saw this black log like sticking up like this and my first thought was like oh that's a moose right and i pulled out the binos i looked at it it was a cow elk she was just staring at me and sure enough the more i slowly worked over here the more and more i just encountered and so that's probably like a herd of maybe 10 to 15 elk at least from what i could tell so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull out onyx maps i'm gonna work my way up this hill right here there's a game trail right here i'm on the game trail right here and I'm gonna go up there and I'm just gonna set up the trail cam. What the heck is calling me? No thanks. You got the wrong number, sir. Alright, so this is a camera that I just bought in December. It's a, it's a new trail cam. I got it off of Midway USA for like 50 bucks. It was on sale. I'm trying to just buy like the cheapest ones, but not so cheap to the point where they don't even work. So just kind of balance that price and the reliability and so i don't know this is my first time using it this is a a moultrie like moultrie 835 or something like that and uh i have a 32 sd card in there and it takes eight double a batteries so it's all set to go i tested at home it's working we're gonna run video on this one and uh we're just gonna set it up in one of these trees right here and we'll see how it goes I got my trail cam set up, it's all good to go. I kind of just eyeballed the angle and the angle looks like it, it'll be good enough. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna get an Onyx maps and I'm just gonna mark this location. That way next time I come here, I don't have to like guess which tree I put it on. I can just come exactly to where I marked it on Onyx maps and know exactly where I set up my trail cam. So that marker right there has video mode. So what we're gonna do is turn it on And it's starting the countdown, so it's ready to go. This is where the elk came from, or at least the elk ran away. They were down here, and they come here, and they just tore up all this dirt right here as they ran up the hill. After I set up my trail cam, I just decided to kind of explore more of this ridge in this area right here and essentially I'm just kind of shed hunting too and so holy crap there's a bunch of them I only saw one of them and uh, I was working up this ridge right here and I looked down there and I saw the silhouette of a deer and sure enough it was a deer and I only saw that one. I didn't see the other three right here. <laughs> There's four of them. Man, if you want to see animals, springtime. Springtime is the best time you, you can see animals. It's just awesome. There's got to be a shed here with the amount of animals here.
it's 11 20 right now so there's actually quite a bit of public land up this way on the main road and so i think i'm gonna head over there because i've never hunted over there before i've drove past it but i'm gonna go scout it just basically road scouting just drive around see if i can find some turkeys if not then maybe i'll try to locate them but um, i have the whole day so i'm gonna make use of it and try to get some intel today is april 6th and Fish and Game are going to have a meeting today and supposedly they're going to announce whether or not turkey season is going to be open or closed. I might be scouting for no reason if they decide to close it. So regardless, I'm just happy to be outside. So we're still going to scout it. I've been driving around for quite some time, literally two hours. I drove past some fields where there were turkey, but it was on the main highway, so I didn't want to stop and film. And uh, after checking several spots, I came to this spot and there is just a bunch of turkey. I counted 12 gobblers that I can see, and there's a bunch of hens too. And uh, occasionally there's like one gobbler that would gobble but none of them are hot they're pretty much just feeding and there's some turkeys that are sitting just under trees and just bedded but right now it seems like they're all finally like getting up and feeding again that is just a lot of gobblers it's april 6th and the flocks are still basically in their winter flocks where gobblers and hens are all just mashed up into one big flock that's probably over 40 turkey right there they're all on private land but public land actually just starts right over here i mean uh let me check on onyx maps i don't have service here but i remember public land starts right where the gate ends so over here there's a fence and that fence is the borderline so pretty much everything from the fence to over here which is just fields that's private property but on the other side it's public All right, so it's 1.40. I drove up the road after spotting that flock of turkeys. And I drove up here in this, this little parking spot. And so I decided to just park and cook me some noodles and some sausages. This is kimchi, kimchi noodle soup. I've never had kimchi noodle soup before. So we'll see how it goes. Not a fan of kimchi. Well, that's my lunch right there. Just some noodles and some sausages. Not exactly sure how it's gonna taste, but I'm pretty hungry, so. I normally don't boil sausage, but when you're out here and you don't have a lot of equipment, boiling it is not a bad way to cook your sausage. And just driving around and pretty much made it to my last destination to scout for turkeys and sure enough I just literally threw the binos up to where I thought they were gonna be and there they were I'm not exactly sure what they are I know the bottom five or six are hens but the ones on top 
I'm not sure if they're gobblers, but they are like visibly bigger in terms of body size. So I'm pretty sure that's a mix between some toms and some hens. Kind of have a feeling they were there. So I just decided to come and check it. And uh, of course, you know, just rode scouting and ran into a bunch of turkeys. So no shortage of turkeys this year. I just don't know if fishing game is going to open turkey season because of COVID-19. So decided to just come and take a breather really quick. And uh, I'm probably going to head home afterwards. With that being said, I'm going to call it a day. So stay safe and thanks for watching.